I can't believe it's Lunar New Year again, and this year it was just so, I feel like it was earlier. Did one of my cheeks fall off? Okay, I got it back. I just put some double stick tape on it. <laughs> so, here, we'll get the... It is the, the year of the black water <laughs> rabbit. There's that one, and then there's kind of the more gray one. They are so cute. Um, okay, so anyways, it is that time of the year again, of which I completely dread because it takes so long to make these guys, but they are so, so cute. Um, it is Lunar New Year. And so according to the Chinese Zodiac, there are 12 different animals on the Zodiac and every year we have been uh, trying to make them cuter and cuter. And so this year it is the year of the rabbit. Um, but in addition to the 12 animals, uh, the years also count in terms of um, there, there are earth elements associated with each animal. So the earth elements are water, earth, fire, wood, and metal. And this year it is the year of the water rabbit, water bunny, but apparently water is associated with the color black. I didn't I didn't completely understand it. I didn't even understand that there were colors uh, to this. So really, it is the year of the black water rabbit. So what I generally do is I teach you how to make a basic bun dough recipe and you can use this bun dough for any anything. You can fill it up with you know, whatever fillings that you want, be it sweet or savory, uh, it really works very well. It's quite soft. But also how to make these animals and how to get them cute looking. So I will provide you with like the amounts that I use, what what coloring um, I added so that you can recreate, recreate this at home yourself, um, as well as some tips because I had to make these guys uh, two and a half times, I would say just because when I was filming it, the, the dough kind of overproved. I have my sad bunny. This was, this was the one that I really showcased on film. And because I forgot to put it in the refrigerator and it just like, it was out for maybe three hours. And I kind of knew that it was overproved, but um, I didn't, I didn't want to like, I couldn't take off anything. So still steamed it, but it did. Um, yeah, but it's so cute. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, anyways, uh, happy new year to you all. For those who celebrate Lunar New Year, I hope you have a happy and a really healthy uh, new year and that you this year, uh, I hope that there are a lot of new opportunities for you to learn, new opportunities for you to explore and um, just, you know, go for your goals. Yeah, the world is crazy. Go for your goals, do what you want. Um, okay, great. All right. Happy New Year. <laughs>we're gonna start off with the dough first and as usual the recipe is going to be down below but it's a very basic dough just some plant-based milk sugar yeast a little bit of oil and then this is bun flour so I tend to only use this flour for buns like this where I want it to be fluffy and a little smoother it's really just bleached white flour. It's processed bleach white flour. Um, if you don't have that, feel free to just use all purpose flour. But what I do is I start it on the mixer just on low first. And then when everything is combined, I just want to feel it. If the dough is a little too dry, I'm going to just sprinkle in a little bit more of that plant milk. If it's a little too wet, just a little bit more flour. And you wanna mix it on low to medium for right around eight minutes until you get a smooth ball of dough. So I'm gonna try to keep this set up pretty basic this year. If you have a mat, um, it's nice because it doesn't move around, it doesn't really stick. A little bit of extra flour, 
some water for sticking, some kind of like a brush <laughs> with like, I don't know, something to poke with and then something to brush the water with. I think maybe an offset spatula, but I'm not sure. And then uh, just like a bench scraper. So really basic setup. steps that you do. We're going to make some black for the eyes too. So there's going to be one step that's slightly darker. prototype so that I would know how I would want it to look um, slightly cross-eyed um, but that took a little bit just to see like again we always talk about how it goes from killer bunny to super cute bunny so I had to play around with like how circular or how oval the eyes need to be and so um, yeah so we're gonna try to recreate this hopefully this works what you want to do is it's not exactly a circle you want it to be kind of an oval so that the face is a little bit fatter as I found out I only really needed one of the ear balls that I made so it's really dependent on like how big your bunny is because if you fill these with like a filling you're gonna end up with a bigger bunny head and so you might need a bigger obviously a bigger um, ear afterwards. So then, okay. So then I'm just gonna move these out like that. They're kind of baguette-y, like the ends are. with this it's really going to puff up so some of this stuff you want it to be flat because otherwise if you use too much dough it's just gonna it's just gonna be like one puff on top of one another so the pink you can just kind of roll into batons Again, you should flatten it a little bit because you don't want them to be too big. Batons. Flatten, flatten, and then we'll just take the back of a knife and I'm gonna play around with it as we go. And 
that should help it to stick onto the other one. If it's ever too dry and it doesn't stick, you just get a little bit of water. Okay, tap it out and then just brush around it and it should be fine. So you can have the ears be together, you can have the ears be like far apart. That just looks, this looks like an Eevee. like clay. don't want to anchor it down too much. I don't want to like put water on it yet just because I want to get the, the placement correct. And I think that the shape that you're looking for is either completely round or slightly oval up and down. for the eyes, these like really, really small pieces, these small dots of white. <laughs> okay, that's not exactly it. The small dots of white need to go kind of towards the edge of the eye. <laughs> still cute. You can change around the eyes a little bit too. And that might be fun to play around with. So I'm just gonna come in here and give you a quick tip. It helps to use one of these bamboo steamers or if you have a normal lid for your steamer, just put like a towel around it because 
Otherwise, if the condensation gets onto the buns, it also makes them lumpy. So a final tip over there as I uh, show you how squishy these guys are. All right, I forgot to talk about this black one. So because one of them had deflated in my original batch, I went ahead and I thought, okay, you're of the black, you know, water bunny. I'm gonna actually make it black, black. So that one just has a whole lot more charcoal uh, in it. So uh, I hope you all enjoyed the bunny buns for this year. And um, as usual, feel free to like and subscribe. If you want to support the channel, please head on over to the Patreon page. Uh, thank you so much. And I will see you all again real soon, okay? Bye.